We're blaming El Nino for a lot these days. Vegetables too expensive? Radishes growing well? Crabs on the beach? Sugar sales up. Even senior meteorologist Stu Ostro couldn't help but join in on the fun. El Nino is an ocean phenomenon, not a weather event. It's not a storm, it's not a flood, it's not a rainbow, it doesn't touch down, and it certainly doesn't make landfall. You can blame it on El Nino. Everyone seems confused. Ah, well, let me tell you what El Nino is, first of all. It's a phenomenon that occurs in the central and eastern waters of the Pacific Ocean. In a typical El Nino year, those waters are much warmer than normal. And all of that heat helps to contribute to a large-scale weather pattern around the hemisphere. Surfers and even the LA Times crediting El Nino for huge waves off California's coast. But blaming it for this double front flip wipeout? El Nino even contradicts itself. Heavy snow, not enough snow. It's not next week's storm that's gonna hit the coast of California. It's not the cold snap that's occurring in the Southeast US tomorrow. It's not that line of thunderstorms that's moving across the Northeast this afternoon. It's none of those features. Check it out, Blame It On El Nino has become its own hashtag. Now, anyone in LA can blame it on El Nino using Snapchat's new El Nino geo filter. We got our anchors to take it for a spin. She said, you don't need a shrink. You need a meteorologist. And he said, you can blame it on El Nino. I'm meteorologist Alex Wilson, Things The Weather Channel. Uh, you can blame it on El Nino, that kooky act of God.